you're really being hard on yourself about how you handle being attacked. Um, I am, but I think anything more importantly is a mounting terror that I feel not just for myself, but for, you know, Asian Americans across the country, because for me, right. you know, for it to happen to me means that it's happening all over the country, you know, and it can happen to anyone. And so I think it's that <clears throat> stress, the increasing stress of every day waking up and reading news headlines and hearing horrible stories of, you know, violent, vicious attacks of that fear, that mounting fear of, you know, how do I walk out of my house and how do I deal with that on top of normal stresses and fears, you know, that we all feel, feel right. from, you know, the, the pandemic. Well, and, and let me say that you said that you're not feeling angry so much as you're feeling resigned to this is just the state of affairs in this day and time. And I understand how that can be more painful than being angry, but I, I need to comment on what you were saying at the time you said I didn't stand up for myself I you know just kind of ran away and went inside the building I've been around this a lot in that I've, I've got two boys that are highly trained in the martial arts and the master that trained them both always said your number one defense is to get away you know, it, sure, you can kick him in the head, you, you can do all this, but your number one defense, the first thing you should think about is remove yourself from the danger. Get away. The last thing you do is fight. The first thing you do is extract yourself, get away from the danger. And I've got to tell you, if this happens to you, I, which I hope never happens again, but if it happens to you again tomorrow, the next day, or the next day, I hope you do the same thing you did this time and that is to get away from the situation, get something between you and that person, get inside a building, lock the door, because I'm telling you, you have so much more to lose than that person that is attacking you. So, you know, give yourself a break. You did self-preservation. You did the right thing. You have no idea what that, you have no idea what that person may have done had you stood there. You have no idea if they had a gun, a, a, a knife, a uh, machete, you have no idea what could have happened if you square up to them. That's why I always tell people in an abusive situation, the last thing you want to do is confront your abuser. That's not what you want to do. You want to get away from that abuser. So anyway, just take that into consideration. And I want to, just got a few seconds left, but you have started what I, I just absolutely love, which is a grassroots campaign called Be Cool to Asians. Tell me about that. So as you, as you mentioned, I am a t unscripted television producer. And so even before this you know, assault happened to me personally, I'd been hearing all the headlines of anti-Asian sentiment that was on the rise. And Dr. Phil, it really is an epidemic of hate you know, that is escalating across the country. And so I was already planning on launching a media campaign to kind of combat you know, the anti-Asian sentiment that's happening. Um, when the incident happened to me. So the Be Cool to Asians campaign is, you know, a media campaign where we're going to start releasing videos that are basically doing everything from having advocates, you know, come out and remind people that, you know, to stand with us Asian Americans against misinformation and hate and to be cool to Asians is our sort of log line, um, as well as showing Asian Americans, you know, we have a video coming out next week, Asian Americans on the front lines of the COVID pandemic. So, you know, right. Asian Americans are your doctors, they're your nurses, they're the people who are shipping your toilet paper, you know, and the people who are delivering your food so that, you know, people start to realize within the national consciousness that, you know, we are your friends and we're your neighbors and we're your fellow Americans and not somebody to be vilified or stigmatized. So that's right. really, you know, me trying to channel my feelings into something positive with the Be Cool to Asian. Right. Well, that sounds really great, and we're out of time, but let me say two things. Number one, I'm glad you're doing that. Number two, I'll volunteer to be one of your advocates. 